Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up a workflow in Flowdesk so that when someone opts in to receive a freebie from you, it will automatically be sent to them. If you haven't heard about Flowdesk, it's kind of like the new kid on the block in terms of email marketing software, and I'm a little bit obsessed. It was developed by two young entrepreneurs and the emphasis that they've put on the just minimal approach to email marketing is amazing. They also have a complete library of all different email templates that you can choose from, whether it's for delivering a freebie, sending out a weekly newsletter, um, blog post updates, anything. They have a ton of templates available that you can use and customize and style to your liking. If you want to try out Flowdesk, I've included a link in the description below which will allow you to have a 30 day free trial. And then if you opt to join a paid subscription, you get 50% off for life. All right, so let's dive into setting up this workflow. The first thing you need to make sure you have is your freebie ready to go, as well as a graphic or a mock-up for the form. So we'll jump onto the computer, I'll show you what I have, and then we'll dive into the workflow. So what I have sitting here ready to go is firstly my PDF. Now this is just the thank you page that I send with my brand style guide Canva template. So I've got this here to use for this example in a PDF format. I also have a PNG image of the brand strategy and style guide front cover to put within the form. Now not all of the forms will have a spot for an image, but there are some that do. So I've just got one prepared so I can show you that. So once you've logged into your Flowdesk account, so the first thing I wanna do is create a segment. To do that, I'm gonna come into audience and then click on segments and new segment. So the purpose of the segments is to firstly segment your audience so that you have a clear idea of why it is they began to follow you, what it was that they opted into. But this is also the way that Flowdesk allocates triggers within their workflows. So someone needs to be added into a segment for a workflow to actually automatically begin. So for this, I usually would just name my segment as whatever the freebie is. So I'm just gonna put brand guide, I'm gonna pick a color, and I'm gonna hit save. So now that we've done that, we're actually going to go in and build the workflow. So from the top here, I'm gonna click on workflows and I'm gonna go new workflow. This is automatically gonna bring me into the template library for workflows within Flowdesk. You can see they have a couple of different options here. In terms of workflows, I prefer to start from scratch as I just find it easier instead of having to change things around. So I'm gonna come over here and just click start from scratch. And again, I'm just going to name the workflow as the freebie just to make it easy to follow. Then we're gonna hit save and it's gonna enter our blank workflow. So the first thing we need to do is set a trigger. So this is what needs to happen for this workflow to sort of kick in the gear. So I'm gonna click add trigger and then I'm going to select a subscriber is added to a segment. So that's really the only option we have here. And then I'm gonna choose the segment. So we're gonna choose brand guide because that was a segment we just created and that's added that trigger. The next thing we need to do is come down here to the plus and add our next thing, which is we want to send an email that includes our opt-in. So I'm gonna click email here and you're given the option to duplicate an existing email or create a new one. So if you have a previous email that you've used and you just wanna duplicate that and reuse it, you can opt to do that. I'm gonna click create new email. Now this is gonna bring me into Flowdesk library of emails that I mentioned in the beginning and there is a ton to choose from and you can also filter these by different things. So if I come over here to welcome, that's going to give me a bunch of different welcome slash deliver your freebie emails and I'm going to opt for this one just here that says deliver your freebie. So once I decide which one I want, I'm going to click view details and customize. So then you're in the email and you can go through and customize this however you like. Uh, for instance, I don't want that there. I can go through, I can add in an image. A really great feature that's recently been integrated into Flowdesk is their 
integration with Unsplash, which is a photo, a free photo stock website. So if I've clicked, on, I've just clicked on this image here, and you can see on the right hand side that I have the option to upload an image or add a photo from Unsplash. So that means I can actually just add a stock image without having to go and find it and upload it into into Flowdesk. I can just simply come in here. I'm going to search cocktail. And I'm going to select this image right here and it's going to automatically add it in. So it's a great easy option for adding in different elements within your post, uh, sorry, within your email. Then you just go through and change out any of this information to suit you. And then the next thing we need to do is actually upload the PDF within this email. So to do that, where you can see here, download the guide button, we're going to click on that button. And then over on the right, we want to come over to link. And what you'll see is going to give you the option to link to a web address. But if you come to the bottom, you'll see attach file. So we're going to click that. And then we're going to click upload file. And then just navigate to where you've saved that PDF and then upload. So that file is now actually uploaded and saved within the Flowdesk server. So that's where it will be stored. So anyone who gets this email will get access to that file. And then once you go through, all you need to do is, once you're happy with it, click finish. And that's going to bring us back to that main workflow. The only thing you need to do as well is scroll down this right hand panel here and change out your subject line and add in a preview text. So that's just the preview text and the subject line that will be sent as for the email. And that's it. You can uh, add in a, an additional trigger after this. So you could say wait a day and then have them moved onto a different segment, which would, could be your welcome sequence. Um, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to leave it at that. And then once we've done that, all we should do is click publish. Once we click publish now, and that workflow is now live. The last thing we need to do is actually create a form that's going to be linked to that workflow, sorry, to that original segment. So we'll come over here to forms and we'll click new forms. And again, that's going to take us into the form library. And you'll see that there's different options here. We have pop-ups, we have inline, and we also have full page. Now, for the sake of this, I'm going to do a inline form. You can see down here that there's different options. These ones don't have images. However, this one here does have an image. So I'm going to click customize on this one. And then it's going to ask you to choose this segment that's going to be connected. So we'll choose that same segment, which is brain guide and hit save. Then we're going to go in and we're going to be able to customize our form however we like. Like for instance, I don't like this background. So I'm actually going to remove the background entirely. That way that when I put this form onto a page, it'll just look like it's built into the page. Now we'll change all of this text. Okay, so now that I've stylized that form a little bit, I'm going to add in the mock-up image that I have as well. So I'm going to select this image here and click upload image. And then I'm going to include that mock-up graphic that I have. I'm just going to change this to get your brand strategy and style guide. Like so. Now I'm happy with that form and all I'm going to do is click next. And then it's going to ask you a series of questions. So should we enable double opt-in? Double opt-in is a great feature to, to prevent spam subscriptions. So although it says no recommended for conversion, I would say yes, do this so that you're not getting any spam signing up to your email. So when I click yes here, you'll say subscribers who opt into this form will receive an email confirmation asking them to validate their subscription before being added to your list. I'm sure you've gotten these before, but that's what that is. So I'm going to click yes, click continue. When subscribers opt into this form, do you want to be notified or do you not want to be notified? I prefer not to be notified. And lastly, what do you want to happen once they subscribe? So you have two options here, which is display a success message or redirect to a URL. For an inline form, I prefer to include a success message because generally an inline form is going to be placed within content and I don't want to take people away from that content. So I'll just do a display success message. Whereas if I was using a, a full page form, 
I would redirect them to a different URL, whether it's to a content page, whether it's to a paid product or something like that. So, and then once we click next, it's going to take us to our publish form page, which is the embed codes you'll need to then embed that form into your website or wherever you're wanting to put that. And once that form is placed wherever you want to place it, then someone can opt in and they'll be automatically taken through that workflow process. There we are, a completely automated workflow for your opt-in freebie. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, hit subscribe because I put out new videos like this every single week. And don't forget, if you want to try out Flowdesk, the link for that will be in the description below. Until next time, be safe, be productive, have a great day.